Welcome to Wellness Journey Monday. I'm your host, Dr. Richard Harris. And this Monday series, the Wellness Journey, is all about my walk into wellness or someone who's close to me, their walk into wellness. We try to keep it less than five minutes because I know you all are busy people. But what I want to talk to about today is intermittent fasting. And I actually have a webinar coming up about this on Wednesday, live webinar. I'll post the links in the post, but I'll also on Instagram have the link in my bio for well as if you want to check out this webinar on intermittent fasting I'm doing with Dr. Brian Bisher. It's going to be awesome. But I started fasting about two years ago, two and a half years ago. And I originally did it because I wanted to lean up a little bit and I knew that fasting was great for body composition. I also realized that I wasn't very efficient at generating energy from my own body stores. And the reason for that is whenever I used to skip meals, I would get headaches. I would get migraines very easily. And I was eating at that time, you know, a typical bodybuilder type diet with a lot of carbs. It was clean, but it was a lot of carbs. And I cut down on my carbs, went up on my good fats, and I felt better. And I said, okay, well, you know, I'm doing this kind of keto thing on and off at that time. And I said, okay, well, maybe fasting, if I boost my ketone levels, I'll feel better. And then I started fasting for a while. I felt better. I said, huh, okay, um, let me do the, I used to, I started with a one day uh, fast on Sundays. And I, I progressively lengthened the time from two hours to four hours, six hours, eight hours. And part of this was religion. Part of it was just I wanted to start fasting. And I lengthened out all the way to 24 to 36 hours. Uh, that's what I used to do. Nowadays, I do my Sunday fast a little bit different. But I also wanted to start doing the time-restricted eating. There's a difference between the two. And I'll talk about a little bit about that on the webinar, the difference between time-restricted eating and intermittent fasting. But once I started to be in tune with my body, I started realizing that I felt really bad whenever I ate breakfast. You know, it took me a while to realize that I didn't work out well in the fed state. So I started working out fasted. I felt better. And then I used to kind of switch around my time restricted eating window. Sometimes I would eat in the morning. Sometimes I would eat in the evening. And then my first meal would either be breakfast or my first meal would be lunch. So I'd either eat breakfast, lunch and not eat again or eat uh, lunch and dinner, but skip breakfast. And I found my body responded so much better to skipping breakfast. Like when I eat breakfast, I get lethargic. It upsets my stomach. I have poor mental focus, poor clarity. It's awful for me. You know, so everybody's different. So there's no right way to, to figure out the eating window. You don't have to do always what someone else is doing. You can figure out what's best for your body. All right. And so that's what we're going to talk about on the live webinar for fasting. It has been a great tool for me. It's helped me with my fat loss goals. It's helped me with focus. It's helped me with mental clarity. We're going to dive into the data. There's a really good New England Journal of Medicine review article that was released last year that talked about some of the benefits of fasting. So this is what we're going to talk about in the webinar. I highly recommend fasting. It's one of the first things I do with all my clients something that is very passionate to me and it's helped me tremendously so come to the webinar like i said the links will be in the post or if this is all if you're watching on instagram it'll be in my bio thank you and have a blessed evening